Friends, through this video, we are going to learn the stop and chop technique. This is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis, a cataract of ideal density for the beginners. This is how the main incision is made. This is a triplanar incision. And this is a steel keratome and this is a 2.8 millimeter incision at mid limbus. And now, beginners should use tripan blue dye to stain the anterior capsule. An air bubble is used to fill out the anterior chamber. And then tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye is applied on all parts of the anterior capsule for uniform staining. This is a bit of adrenaline. And now the dye is washed out with BSS. I am going to do this surgery slowly to show all the steps clearly to a trainee, to a beginner FECO surgeon. The antechamber is filled up with visco and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. A side port is made. And now a needle is used to cut the anterior capsule. A 26 gauge band needle is used. The needle goes through the main incision, a nice cut, and the capsule is pulled to make a nice flap. And now a uterator forceps is introduced, this capsular tag is held and it is guided anticlockwise. All the time the anterior leap of the main wound is lifted up. If lot of visco comes out, we have to use visco again to maintain the anterior chamber. A nice rexis of about 5.25 millimeter is done. And now, hydro dissection is done with a 27 gauze cannula and BSS. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. And now, again visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber and then the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. The phaco needle goes in with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated vacuum at this time is about 200 now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and we are going to make a trench at this time vacuum is about 80 millimeter of mercury to 100 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 20 and ultrasonic energy used in this case is 50 percent. If the cataract is hard, we can use higher power. The tunnel has been widened a bit, rotated 180 degree and A bit of sculpting is done on the other side. Now I go to the floor of the groove 
and applying opposite forces, the nuclear mass is divided into two fragments. And now I go to higher vacuum, vacuum at this time is about 350 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 35 ml per minute and each nuclear fragment is held up and it is emulsified. It is chopped into pieces and each nuclear piece is emulsified. And this is the other heminucleus. We must hold at the middle of the fragment there must be some thick nuclear mass in front when you apply vacuum and bit of ultrasonic energy and during a removal of the epinucleus the vacuum is reduced to about 200 flow rate is about 25 and now we have some cortex in this case little bit of visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber and then a simco cannula is being used to remove the cortex beginners have done Sizes and they are familiar with Simco, and there is no harm to use this instrument in FECO surgery. Now I go through the side port. You can hold the cannula with left hand and aspirate with right hand. And it is done. Little bit of cortex is just in front of the main wound. It will come out later while we polish the posterior capsule by irrigation. Yes, it has come out. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens has been done but beginners should use viscoelastic substance, fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and then implant the intraocular lens. And since we have not used visco in this case, we save about 2 minutes time because removal of visco thoroughly takes about one and a half to two minutes time. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And the case is concluded after a final lavage by Simco cannula, the anti chamber is nicely formed by the Simco cannula, and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in learning stop and chop technique of vacuum specification. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.